I'm gonna cut this. This is stupid. Something is going on in the forest. There are, seems to be hundreds of secrets. Tiger Claw is acting super suspicious. Broken Tail is a prisoner and that is causing trouble. Hello, full book questers. It is I, Aaron, the book quester today. I have this awesome epic fantasy book, book three in the Warriors, the Prophecies Begin series. Warriors Force of Secrets by Aaron Hunter herself slash himself because they are multiple people. And well, let's get right on to it. So, what is going on here? So right now, at this moment of time, Broken Tail is trapped within Thunder Clan camp. And Shadow Clan and Wind Clan don't really like that. They hate Broken Star, and rightly so. But Blue Star thinks that if they kill a Broken Star, that would make them Thunder Clan as the same as him, which is Broken Star. And that's just bad. So that means that Fireheart and Blue Star agree that they will not kill our dear Broken Star. And meanwhile, suddenly, Tiger Star seems to be being really suspiciously friendly with Broken Star, and that's not good. But again, people starts to come in. I mean, cats start to come in. Wind Clan and um, Shadow Clan does not mind their own business and goes to kill Broken Star. They they shake hands or whatever cats do, and together they uh, they make an alliance to attack Thunder Clan. Thunder Clan manages to defend themselves, but barely. And many think that keeping Broken Star alive was not worth it. Worth it. Meanwhile, after that, Tiger Claw is seen keep well sharing tongues and eating meals together with Broken Star, which is becoming a really really suspicious. Meanwhile, Fireheart is trying to investigate Tiger Heart, and he finds out some very important details. Tiger Star did, I mean Tiger, ha, I mean Tiger Claw, whatever. Tiger Claw did not kill the other clan's deputy, Oakheart. In fact, Oakheart was killed in an accident, and Redtail accidentally killed him, which means that Tiger Claw could have lied about it, and he. Could have been a one who killed Redtail, and he probably is. And while he was investigating that, he found out that two Thunder Clan kids had been taken in to River Clan so many moons ago, and those kids were Mistyfoot, and and I believe Storm Ashfur or Stormfur. Oh my God, I'm forgetting names. There's so many names. Anyway, so basically that's what's going on. And meanwhile, Graystripe and Silverstream has kids. And now everyone finds out that Graystream had loved Silverstream. And Silverstream dies of childbirth, and Graystripe is left totally heartbroken and nothing to leave, live for. And meanwhile, Tiger Claw leads a band of rogues that Broken Star once led. And he leads the band of rogues and he attacks his own clan so that in the midst of the chaos and confusion, they could kill. Blue Star. And Blue Star is shocked and angry by this. But Fireheart, jumping to the rescue, attacks Tiger or Tiger Claw, injuring him, and Blue Star was saved. But and Blue Star was extremely shocked that Tiger Heart had betrayed her. I mean Tiger Claw had betrayed her and basically exiles him out because who needs a traitor in the mist? And if he sets foot on Thunder Clan territory again, he can expect those claws. And Fireheart is appointed as deputy in Tiger Claw's face. I mean, in, in Tiger Claw's face, which means place. Which means that Tiger, I mean Fireheart, has now has so many roles that he has to attend to. He has to attend to the patrols. He's not really used to it, but he will manage. And that is pretty much what happens to the book. And at the end, Graystripe leaves ThunderClan to go with his kids into River Clan because River Clan. It's technically Silverstream is from River Clan, so those kids technically belong in River Clan. Therefore, Graystripe could not just let his kids go, so basically he just goes. Great. And yeah, the book has a slightly sad ending. And we also find out in the book that Blue Star actually loved Oak Heart, and she had two kids, and those kids were Stormfur and Mistyfoot. So that was a nice little twist. And yeah. So what I thought about this book, one thing is that no one is perfect. Because even Blue Star, the noble, powerful Thunderclan leader, actually made some mistakes when she was young. She was really ambitious, and she had to let her kids go. 
in the River Clan. So th that just makes me think that the book is a little bit more. I guess it has more pain in it, and it just makes the character a little bit more realistic because Blue Star is just this proud warrior queen. That's how we see her in the first two books. But in the third book, some secrets are revealed, and I feel like Blue Star it feels a little bit more realistic to me. And yeah, it is a very freeing book because the secrets and the lies and it all goes just washes away. The, the, the amount of lies and secrets that there were in book one and two is absolutely crazy. And when Fireheart investigates, he finds out a lot of things, not all of them, the things he wants. So yeah, that's I'm pretty sure why it's called Forest of Secrets, mostly because this entire forest is literally filled with all sorts of secrets and conspiracies and all that, and so this is the book where all those secrets are pretty much washed clean and revealed, which is why it was such a great book to read. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. It is a great book after all, and you got to read it, in fact read the entire saga if you can, and have a great day, read a book if you can.